Hi, it's Kelly here, and I've got more free stuff you're just going to love. I have two, two major things. Uh, one, we have electric bills that are going through the roof, right? And heating bills and all of that. It's really hurt, you know, impacting our lives these days. And the other one is a, is a situation that is kind of worldwide, and we may be noticing it in our own homes, and that is the level of irritation that people are experiencing. You know, I posed the question uh, recently, you know, are we noticing, are you noticing people being more irritated lately? Do you feel more irritated than you did, say, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, however many years ago you go back? Right? I believe there's a lot of it. It seems to be worldwide. And we, we know that because of our own experiences in our homes, in our workplace, when we go shopping. Uh, and even on the news, it seems to be on the news all the time. A lot of irritation. Well, uh, but first let me get to the to the idea of uh, reducing your your heating bills and your cooling bills. And and to tell you about that, I need to tell you about an, an experiment I did as a test pilot three years ago. Um, we had once three summers ago. We had a stretch of 99 degree temperatures for two weeks straight. And so I decided to test this out and to walk around wearing three layers of clothing on my you know, top half, at, including a wool vest and a wool cap. And I had energy devices in them to block electromagnetic fields. So I was going, you know, I go, I go to the store a lot just to get out. And so almost every day I'd be having a conversation with somebody in line. And the, the conversations that they would initiate, they would start out by talking about how ungodly hot it was. And I, even though I was terribly overdressed, looking rather foolish as a matter of fact, it was a surprise to me because I wasn't feeling, I mean, I was feeling warm. But I, I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. But that was the conversation every, of everybody, which you would expect when it's 99 degrees, right? So, one evening, after two weeks of this, I went outside without my gear on. I'd forgotten to put it on. Went out the back door with a friend, and I didn't get 20, 30 yards without my gear on and forgotten all about it. And I said to her, and I apologize for this, except I just want to repeat what I said. And it was kind of an exclamation. I said, my God, it's so irritating. My skin was feeling irritated, even though it was only 90 degrees outside. It was the evening time. So it was 9 degrees cooler. And it hit me like, wow. And I, so I have no idea what people were feeling at 99 degrees. But it was irritating, and it dawned on me immediately, it's not the sun's heat that's making people feel irritated. It's the electromagnetic fields, because the difference for me was that I was carrying in my hat, the cap, the wool cap, and in the vest and in my pockets, pants pockets, these energy blocking, or, or transforming, I should say, they would, block, they would transform the, the electromagnetic fields that were coming from, from you know, smart meters, I call them smart beaters, coming from uh, cell towers, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, in the last two years, during, during the, you know, the whole experience we've been through, they accelerated the rate of installing the 5G masts. And so, I, so there's been a lot more of that put on. And those... Those waves, people think they only go short distances because they get blocked by buildings. But if they're not, if there's no building around or no trees, those things, the horizon found out they go very long distances. They didn't check around the world, but I can assure you that they do. They can go around the world. All right. So we're all exposed to this, regardless of where we are. And this would explain why people are feeling so irritated. So they're feeling irritated. We are feeling irritated emotionally, and our skin is feeling irritated. 
not from the sun, not from the heat, but from the, the electromagnetic field. So we can solve two problems. We can tolerate heat better, and we can get rid of our emotional irritation because if our skin is irritated, we can be pretty sure that we are going to feel irritated overall. In fact, the EMFs in the sweat glands, uh, they are transferred inside the body. So at night, when I sleep, I have the temperature set up at 78 degrees, which most people would consider to be way too warm. You know, and if it's the least bit warm, you get, it's really uncomfortable. It's hard to go to sleep. And so, but at 78 degrees, I feel really comfortable. It's not hot at all. I, my body tolerates it just great. Uh, and during the daytime, I have the temperature set at 82. And uh, it feels fine. It feels a little bit warm, but it's not, it feels fine. So now if you are someone who at night sets your temperature at say 74 or 72, 70, or even 68, and you can set it up to uh, excuse, uh, 78, you're saving between 6 and 10 degrees of cooling. That's going to save you a lot of money. Now in the wintertime, it's the same thing for me. I can have the apartment here at 65 during the day. And at night, I set it, most nights I set it down to 60 degrees and I have no problem. Uh, you know, even if I get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, uh, you know, it feels a little cool, but it's fine. It's, you know, it's, it's not, not bad at all. So, so if you are in the wintertime, you have your temperatures set so, you know, your, your home, maybe it's 72 or 70. If you can save a few degrees there, you'll also save on your utility bills, right? So you're going to be saving money. And if you pass this information along to others, they'll be able to save money. And this is going to be important because these days, you know, with the cost of food going up, the cost of fuel for your car, gasoline going up, all these other things going up, it's really nice to have our utility bills lower. You know, if we can save 20, 30, 40 dollars, that would be great. So, uh, now, let me just show you some examples. You've probably seen this one operating here in the background. That's got an 8-inch plate on it. And it has a, a Lakowski design on it. And Lakowski design looks like this. And it's called a multi wave oscillator. Multi wave oscillator. Multi wave oscillator or MWO. MWO. You can get these on Etsy.com. You'll see them looking up identical to this or very similar this as an example of what you, you would use. Now, if you do, if you get these and put them in your pockets, the benefit is going to be limited basically to you and maybe someone who's close by you. And that's pretty much going to be it. All right. So it will work if you have you know, a lot of these on you. It will protect you from the feelings of the sun. And not from the sun, but from the electromagnetic fields coming in. 5G, 4G. Uh, the uh, smart meters are really bad because they put off AC and DC. So every couple of seconds or so they spark, or they or they spike, I should say. And that's very hard on a biological system. And it, and it goes it goes quite a distance, further than the ends of your house. Um, some people live in apartments where there's a whole bank of those things on the wall near them or even a couple doors down and it's it's the impact on them and it's just tremendous. So but if you put these on a fan like we have here, you could put them on if you have a fan like that, you could glue it right on there. Uh, a small one. So you can get but you can get these four inches, eight inches, even twelve inches. Uh, you can also put them, let me reach down here. I have let me show you an example. Of a, I'm going to lean back because the cord on this is pretty, sh uh, not very long. Uh, this is a, the, the square part is a, uh, 
a fan, a vertical fan that's used for cooling computer towers and things like that. And so you could just glue one of these right on there. And you can glue more than one, and if you do, put them facing in opposite directions to get the maximum value. And by doing that, it might increase the power a hundred or a thousand times. It, the energy will go, it goes through mountains, walls, and windows. It, it'll take care of your neighborhood, your, your town, and the town next to it, and actually go around the world and people will benefit around the world. They might not feel as much as you because you knowing that this is going, it's going to help you feel happy. And that creates happy peptides in the brain, and the peptides go to your organs, and your organs will feel happy. So that's a plus in having one of these, having one or more of these of your own. You can put them on ceiling fans too. You can take put one of these on each ceiling fan, or you can put two on each ceiling fan, or or you could put tops and bottoms. Just take them on or glue them on on there. You know, equidistant on each blade. And let them go that way. Uh, by the way, this design, if you can see it, if you put full screen, you'll see it better. That's a copy of what you'll see at the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Chart Chartres, Italy, or not Italy, Spain. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, Chartres. Uh, and uh, it's it's got the same design as they use in in your uh, microwave ovens, and so it intensifies the energy. So if you were to take one of these and then uh, put them in opposite directions, uh, have this facing away from it. This has actually got two sides, the same thing, facing away. And I put that on there. It will intensify the energy even further. Um, but this is this is the uh, design that's used in a microwave oven. So this isn't this isn't magic or anything like that. This is science or engineering that works. You know the, the spinning of the copper. So this has got copper on it. The spinning it's just like in a, in a hydroelectric plants. The spinning copper generates electricity for millions of people. I'm going to set this down. Uh, in fact, I'll turn it on here for a moment to see. Maybe you'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to enjoy it. I'm afraid to turn it sideways because I'm not sure. What, I've got so many weights on there that it might fall off. But there it is going. And uh, you might feel a larger one too, even though it's kind of out of the picture. And turn this off and set it down. I'm just I'm worried about the weight. I've got, you know, I've got like four, four of those discs on there, and a couple of other things on there. It makes it weigh quite a bit. So, imagine if we would reduce the irritation around the world. Would this be? Would we have be living in a different s situation? I believe we would be. Um, so go ahead and get these kinds of things, put them on your fans and let them spin. And I put them on a high, the faster they go, the, the more they're going to, energy they're going to put out. Um, so you got your, your multi-wave oscillators, that disc that you saw, um, that's called a Rosace, R-O-S-A-C-E. Uh, if you put in that keyword, you'll pull it up on Etsy, Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y. Um, you'll also see where it's called cymatic discs, C-Y-M-A-T-I-C, C-Y-M-A-T-I-C. Those are cymatics are the designs you get when you put sand on a speaker and then you turn it on to a certain frequency. So you can use a cymatic disc instead of one of these or you can, you can combine them. And this will uh, help bring down the irritation and help to bring down your electric bill. You'll feel more comfortable in more, in more kinds of weather. Um, oh, let me show you this too. 
what else it will do? It, um, you know, I, I don't know if I mentioned that, a broken back, and it, I had surgery, I don't know, 11 years, 11, 12 years ago. Uh, my back has been bothering me for 12, 13 years. I don't exercise. I like to say that I exercise minutes a year. And I'm 72 years old. So as someone who's 72, I should have, my muscles should be wasted away. So I want you to see this. Does that look like a wasted away muscle? It's not. It's not Schwarzenegger, but it's it's an adequate muscle. And oh, and I'll show you this too. These are my hands, obviously. And uh, some people say that they look younger than 72. How old they? How young do they look to you? See, when our skin is not being irritated. You can stay younger looking. So, uh, I hope this has uh, helped you, and uh, and I hope you'll share this video, so that we can make this world a whole different place. We might even make it turn it into gardens of Eden, everywhere. You know, the butterflies love this stuff. Uh, the the bees love this stuff. Plants love this stuff. Everything loves it. Anything that's living loves this kind of energy when it's spinning. If it's not spinning, it's it's very, very limited in how much energy you get out of it. You could put a drink a cup of water on there and it would over eventually uh, restructure the water and it would be good. But why not just have the thing running and take care of your whole house? <laughs> and have it instantly. Oh anyway, enough about that. And uh, like I say, all this information is in my book. Is there a question that heals instantly? Is there a question that heals instantly? You can get that on Amazon. Uh, it's uh, my last name is Item E I D E M E I D E M. So you can look it up on Amazon under my name. You'll also see uh, this book here, The Doctor Cures Cancer. I wrote that as well. Um, and it, is there a question that heals instantly? And you can read these two chapters regarding how wonderful this is. Well, you take care and, and God bless.